The battle to defend free speech continues. Last Friday we went to the Supreme Court, the New South Wales Supreme Court. It was just a brief hearing to set a court date. And the court date is set for Thursday, 10am, at the Supreme Court uh, in Phillips Street in Sydney. And I'd ask everybody to come down, anybody, any Australian, right-minded Australian that believes in free speech, and this is what's under attack at the moment, this is free speech. Uh, you know, like, of course we want to mark the anniversary, the 10-year anniversary, because it's an important time that Australians stood up on their home soil against the Islamic gangs that were sort of moving into the area. Uh, it's well documented in police documents, and you just have to look at the Strike Force New Report uh, on the various reports of criminality of these Muslim gangs in the area, uh, coming in large numbers looking for trouble. Uh, and that's well documented. But uh, this Thursday, uh, on the 10th of December, we need your support. We need to come down. Come down early because, look, the lefties are going to be there. Any far sprung, uh, you know, is ambushed us last time on, on Friday, and they're going to be down there. The Dregs Society are going to be down there. We've got two battles. We've got the battle outside with, with the lunatics, and then we've got a battle inside with the Sharia-compliant government. And uh, we still haven't received a letter from council, nor have we received a letter from the police uh, outlining the so-called uh, you know, reasons, well, they're just excuses, that we can't go ahead with this rally. And it's a fundamental right. We have a fundamental right uh, to be down there. It's a fundamental freedom for free expression and free uh, assembly. And it's amazing that they've used the argument, well, it's Crown land. Yes, it's Crown land because it belongs to us, the people. So we have a right to be down there. And with this injunction that they're seeking to, to block the rally, uh, also, Sutherland Shire Council uh, has sort of said that they're going to go through the Human Rights Commission, take it to the federal courts, so and there might be two issues n next week, which is very sort of, it's, you know, we live in, in, in difficult times, you know. Uh, Islam, you can't critique Islam, and if you do, they'll come after you. And we should be able to critique any religion, uh, and especially Islam, because it's a 500,000 BC political ideology that doesn't believe in Australia. And I just read an article just recently talking about um, this new special media package that uh, Griffith University, Professor, Professor Pearson, uh, and the Attorney General's office, the Australian government is using your money to produce guidelines and training for the media uh, in a code of conduct, the way that they should use uh, certain terms or language and not offend Muslims. We can't offend Muslims, no, because they are a privileged heaven. And, uh, you know, they're just a sort of, you know, the privilege is just ridiculous. Uh, you know, free speech means that, uh, and it is our most important human right, the free speech of all Australians. And because Islam is totally contrary to free speech, free speech doesn't uh, uh, exist in Islam. If, you, if, you, if you're critical of Muhammad uh, or you're critical of some of the surahs, uh, some of the teachings, uh, well, look out. You're, you know, you could even end up dead in some of those nations because... You know, they don't live with free speech. They don't have the most important human right that we see as so important. And, you know, generations of Australians have fought to, for us to have this free speech. And the Racial Vilification Act of 1975, especially Section 18C, needs to go. The Human Rights <coughs> Commission is a Soviet relic. It has no right to dictate to Australians uh, how they should, what they should think or what they should say. Uh, it's the Thought Police. Uh, the Human Rights Commission's got to go. Uh, we've got a government in Australia, it doesn't matter whether it's Liberal, Labor and Greens, they're ballless, absolutely ballless. They don't stand up for the Australians and they expect us with all this immigration coming in, with all this multiculturalism, just to cop it sweep, bend over, pull down our pants and cop it sweep. Well, we shouldn't cop it sweep. And it's about time the Australian people stop voting for these lunatics because you're just encouraging, uh, you know, this sort of like, this, this genocide of the Australian nation. And look, we need to sort of, I'm also appealing to Australians, we, we need your financial help. I'm not going to lie, we need your financial help. Um, you, know, you know, going up against the state, and here they are saying that we don't have a democratic right to be down there, and then they're using our taxpayers' money to attack Australians who love our country. I don't have a criminal record, I, I love the police, uh, I, I love our judicial system, but I'm not going to submit to corrupt and crooked lies and also, you know, just maintain that special privilege that we, that you know, Muslims have got in society that we can't critique their their crappy 500,000 BC ideology. So we need, um, we need your, we need, we need funds, uh, and you know, it's much appreciated. 
the Cronulla Freedom of Speech Fighting Fund. You can make a direct debit or you can go to the Party for Freedom website and use your credit card or PayPal. And we are going to be there. I don't, I don't like to go against police and, you know, they've got, you know, they're good people. But um, this action by the New South Wales Police Commissioner is, is not justified. Is not justified. It really isn't. And nor is the council. And the council using that sort of, uh, you know, really flowery rhetoric that we're all racist and we're, we're violent and that sort of thing. We're going to go down there and there's going to be uh, a race riot. Well, that's absolute nonsense. And if there is trouble on the day, guaranteed, it will be the, uh, you know, the, the genetic cul-de-sacs, you know, the evolutionary cul-de-sacs, uh, you know, the people that really, uh, you know, just sort of the dregs of society, both Antifa, the communists, uh, and look, I've got stuff that sort of, they're calling for the race riot, so it's going to be out in the article soon, because we do need to get this out. It's not us, all our speakers are fantastic people, you've got to come down there, we've got Sergio Renegali, we've got Sherman, we've got Kim Virga, we've got Danny Nalia, uh, we've got uh, Daniel Evans and myself, and uh, Rosalie Cristani is going to be the MC for the day, so it's important you get down there. No alcohol, no alcohol whatsoever, no bad behaviour. And the police will, they'll deal with the situation on the day. If any of people that believe and outside the argument turn up looking for a fight, don't come. We don't want you down there. We want to have a peaceful day. We want to celebrate our culture. We want to celebrate the time when Australians stood up and defended their suburb. Because multiculturalism is genocide. We want to see in Cronulla. And if you can, it doesn't matter what small donation, it's important because it's not just people like me or other people who are going to speak uh, on uh, Saturday on the 12th that is defending free speech. We're, we've, all, we've all got to defend free speech. And if you can't be there in a physical way or a spiritual way, uh, you can always you know, contribute financially because every little bit counts. And it's a battle for all of us because we need to battle against unjust laws. And that's what we're faced with today. So I look forward to seeing you on the 12th, of the 12th but also on the 10th uh, at the New South Wales Supreme Court. The hearing starts at 10 o'clock, and if you can get there early, we're going to be there from 9 o'clock. This is a battle for free speech, and we're not going to give up, you know. it's um, We've got too much to lose. We've already lost too much as a, as a country and a people. So I hope to see you there at uh, the Supreme Court and also the Memorial. And thank you very much.